Hey guys, a little different style video this time because I didn't get a lot of footage of what I was doing on the short block. So I just am going to do like a little mic over and give you guys the specifics of some of the stuff that I ran into. Um, I got the short block all assembled with uh, king bearings on the mains and the rods. They're, they're both oil clearanced out at just at the outer edge of the bigger clearance that OEM would allow. I wanted them to be a little bit bigger than that, uh, but I'm just gonna run them and, and uh, hope for the best. I I just have to kind of figure out what kind of oil I'm gonna run and, and pressure and, and all that. So that'll come in time, but um, the I filed the rings to 18 thousandths of an inch on the top ring and 20 thousandths on the second compression ring. Uh, piston to wall clearance ended up being between two and a half thousandths and three thousandths of an inch which is also a little bit tighter than I wanted hopefully the cast uh, Vitar pistons don't um, expand that much I think it sounds like a lot of people have had good luck at that kind of clearance so I should be okay I honed the block with a 240 grit flex hone I did 15 passes on each cylinder and it cleaned up all the cylinders really well. There's still some scoring in cylinder three, but um, it's not as bad as it was. I'm still a little, it's I'm still a little concerned about it, but it's it's uh, looks really good. So I think it's going to be all right. Once the rings seat in, it should be pretty good. The China head studs I ordered, I was going to put the head on in this video but they shorted me one stud so I couldn't do that and I had to order some and they ended up sending me a whole new set and I just got them today and I didn't get to show you in the video but um, I do have a picture of the head torqued on I was able to torque it down to 65 foot pounds with no problems I was a little worried about pulling the threads out of the block with the China studs but it, everything worked out really well so um, the valve springs I had to return my Brian Crower valve springs because they were for a Z6 and I didn't know that they weren't the same. So I had to order a set from BC Moto. They came with some locator seats for the exhaust springs and I did 16 new stem seals and I lapped the um, valves in with valve grinding compound to seal them up again. I did have to replace a couple of the exhaust ones because they were pitted but I just used um, some used ones that I had kicking around in the garage. I got the A6 cam in there and everything's all uh, lubed up with assembly lube. Oh, my dog's barking. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, the adjustable cam gear I got from eBay didn't come with a keyway, so I have to come up with something for that. Um, I lashed the valve lash to eight thousandths on the intake and nine thousandths on the exhaust those are both in inches um, i used a d16 white head gasket that i mic'd out to 26 thousandths of an inch for the thickness um, and i torqued the head to 65 foot pounds I, I might try for a little bit more than that once i get it heat cycled a couple times i'll let you guys know on that and the last thing I did was I welded some 10 AN bungs on the valve cover for a catch can or a breather setup. Um, I'd like to maybe do the panty vacs in the downpipe on the turbo or something to draw some vacuum, but I may just run them to a catch can and then vent the cat or drain the catch can to the black box on the back of the block. And the last thing I did was um, just this morning I ordered the lifetime membership for BM tune and um, Yes, stay tuned for updates and thanks for watching you guys. See you soon.